so I've just arrived at the venue and it's a bit of a cold day today but no worries I'm going to pick up my equipment if you having girl problems I feel bad for you son I got 99 problems but it ain't one hit me yeah I finally got my equipment back <laughs> Africa! Hello wonderful people, so I finally got my equipment back and in this video I'm just going to tell you how I did it and also explain why I deleted my last video that I uploaded on YouTube. After two horrendous weeks I finally got my equipment back. For those of you who have not watched my last video, my equipment got confiscated when I wanted to move to another location because of some issues that had basically nothing to do with me. But after some battles here and there I finally got it back. What happened? How did I do it? Basically, there were four approaches that I tried. The first was, of course, being reasonable and talking to the owner of the building, you know, coming to a solution. But he was quite stubborn and he just, he just didn't want to. He was just like, no, sorry, bro. The second approach was to go to the local authorities. So as you guys know from my uh, Chinyaranda lessons, uh, Rwanda is divided into a five layer system. And when you have a problem, you, sh you should usually go to the lowest layer and explain your problem there. If they cannot solve it, you go up. If they cannot solve it, you go up, you go up, you go up. So for me, I started at the cell level and then I went to the sector, but I was being put back and forth, back and forth. And uh, yeah, to be honest, that did not work for me. The bureaucracy is still kind of too much. It took me a total of eight days just for me to deposit my problem in writing at the local authorities at the sector level um, and until this day they have not responded to me for further actions or or anything of that sort uh, the third approach i took was just to you know upload the last video and and tell my friends and family out there and the followers um, that was actually surprising it felt well because i got a lot of encouragement for you guys Thank you very much. Um, but some people really took it upon themselves to help me even deeper. You know, they were asking more details and talking to their connections. And that was also going very well, just that I had no control over it. So there was no way to rush it or to tell how fast or how far it was going. The last approach was just to take uh, legal matters. So uh, I, um, I went to the, I took a lawyer and he basically wrote a, a letter to, uh, to the owner of the building. And that approach is actually that that's the one that did it you know i went in the morning to the lawyer draft a letter deposited it and on that same day i got a phone call saying come pick up your stuff and of course i could have done this from day one but hey being a small business you want to avoid unnecessary costs and i didn't even know much about you know how much it would cost and the procedures and everything but i just knew it would cost me but at the end i was almost desperate so i had to do it and also find out if this really works and it worked. Even though I was really happy that it worked, it was it felt kind of better at the end because it felt I was just like spending money uh, unnecessary because I was just buying my own equipment back. Anyway, let's forget about that. Mm. So the last video I uploaded, I deleted within one hour. And so for some of you who have subscribed and have turned on notifications, you saw it. But I took it down because it had reached its goal. Basically what I said in that video, I was calling out the owner of the building by his name, you know, and, and basically just telling him to let my equipment go. Um, so it, apparently it got around and some people who know him, they were afraid to be associated with him. So they were calling him and then his people were calling me. So I was like, okay, I'll take it down if you come to a solution. So in a way, it also, it also had some influence, but um, I don't think it's the one is the number one reason that that um, my, I got my equipment back. But the most interesting fact is that I kind of realized what his weakness point was. So that was good to know, also for future issues if they may arise. So guys, again, thank you very much for the lovely support I got from you from in my DMs, on the comments, on the on my last videos. It's, it's, it's really heartwarming because sometimes, you know, you post these videos and, you know, you don't get a lot of views, don't get a lot of comments, but when you really need it the most, that's when you get it. And, you know, that felt very well. Thank you very much, my wonderful people. Now that I got my equipment back, I am back in business. I'm at a new location with even more equipment. And luckily, most of my clients stayed with me. So I'm so, so, so happy. So thankful. Thank you, guys. So 
stay subscribed, stay tuned. I've got some great videos coming up now that I can be free and to do whatever I want now. Um, there's a great video coming about the Chigali Arena and I have a great interview with a great lady from, from Chigali here. You're really gonna love it. All right, I'll see you all in the next video. Muramuchi.